solar power electricity and electronics and I've got a set of stairs that I'm making so basically we are making some stairs and they're going to be five of these similar and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put those on the wall and you can see they're going to be you know four foot five foot tall bringing the batteries up pretty tall uh, I'm gonna have basically stairs that lead into the wall and then all the batteries that are really really good go on the top shelf and then the uh, sm the lower shelf gets uh, you know the weaker batteries and then the bottom shelf since there's gonna be five shelves uh, I'm gonna do four rows of 20 and then the bottom shelf, which would be the fifth shelf, will be the maintenance shelf. And those are going to be the ones that are going to be uh, kept out and maintenance. Since I've got 85, I think I'm going to use 40 to 78 in a bank at one time. Maybe less, maybe more, I don't know. Uh, that depends on the voltages of the magnum inverter's capability. So I'm going to have to go over and read those as I start wiring it up but currently it's not uh, not a big rush but what's important to me is I get this thing built so as soon as I get this built I mean I just gotta cut uh, three three more of these and uh, clean them up there they need a little bit of cleaning uh, on the, the cuts I'm using a reciprocating saw because my uh, uh, this one doesn't have a lot of power. It, it's the NICAD batteries. This is a NICAD battery. They suck pretty bad. So speaking of, I need to put on charge. They won't do a very good job. These lithium batteries, I hear they're a lot, lot more powerful. I haven't used uh, the lithium for a, a saw, but I know it's a lot more powerful than a drill. So that's, that's pretty cool. So we're building uh, basically bleachers for the batteries. Those batteries are going to reach up. They're going to be yay tall. And you'll be able to see the liquid fluid and the plates. I think you'll be able to see the plates. I could be wrong. You won't be able to see all the plates. Just, you know, a little bit of the plates. So, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. And, you know, I'm just super excited. I got the 85 battery sitting right over here. You know, I got those 85 batteries, and that, that, that's I'm super excited. Uh, the first two rows that you see on this side are 1.3 volts or higher. The second row, the uh, third row, my apologies, the third row is 1.9 volts, okay? And the fourth row is 1.8 to 1.7 volts. And the fifth row, which was closer to dead, or lower than 1.3 because uh, I think we have three short circuited batteries and then the rest of them those in the back definitely have voltage on them every one of them it's just they don't have a lot of voltage compared to these up front so out of the 85 batteries that I purchased uh, about I think about seven of them didn't uh, look great so, I mean, they'll have to be cleaned up with potassium hydroxide, and then those are going to be on the very bottom row, and cleaning them will be the first of the priority, and, you know, charging and recharging is going to be really easy because it's going to be on the bottom row, and then the four rows that are going to be on top is going to be 20 wide, and then I'm going to be good to go. So it's going to be super, super cool for you guys, and it's going to be really... Uh, really easy for maintenance for me because all I got to do is work on the bottom row just you know scoot up a chair set up uh, you know a battery charger and you know charge some and then I'll be able to clean them as well and also got a cleaning tool I'm gonna make with a uh, ultra high pressure water pump 
well not ultra high, I mean, let's say very high pressure water pump. So I'm going to make a cleaning tool with that, it's going to be super cool with that. And I just want to say thank you for subscribing, all the new subscribers. I'm building this really cool solar array system. Here is the Magnum Inverter. There's a panel that I haven't got hooked up. That's been in the garage for a while. I need to go and get those things up and running. But they won't charge my current system. So, I mean, I can use it for something else. I could run those on a 24 volt system, uh, but currently they're not going to charge my 48 volt bank. It's impossible. So, what I'll probably start doing is using those set, uh, panels to charge the batteries that are on, on the uh, maintenance uh, plank. The, the bottom rung of the stairs is going to be the maintenance batteries. So, I'm going to put both of those uh, in parallel. That way, I can put about you know 20 amps straight in the batteries during sunny days. And I hear that you can't really hurt those batteries uh, by charging them. I mean, I don't know, I've got to go uh, find some spec sheets on these specific cells. I haven't gotten the actual, I haven't went over the actual spec sheet. Ransom, the one that I got these batteries from, he knows somebody that had a lot of these batteries. So I went and got those batteries from his guy and I bought them almost out completely. So, you know, moving forward, let's just, you know, look forward to what's going on. We're going to have a uh, maintenance uh, maintenance shelf and then four shelves for operation sh batteries. It's going to be really cool. Stay tuned. More on solar power, electricity, and electronics, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.